In this video, I want to introduce you to the CBUS theorem, which is immensely useful and has a myriad of applications. So we are going to start with CBUS theorem by drawing a triangle. And what CBUS theorem is used for is to show that three CBNs are concurrent. So let me introduce you to two terms, CBNs and concurrent concurrent. CBNs are the line segment starting at one vertex of the triangle drawn to the other side. So this is a CBN, this is going to be a CBN, and this is going to be a CBN. So you can, there, there are of course infinitely many CBNs you can draw from one vertex. And let's draw another CBN. And so now we have two CBNs going on. And of course, you can draw another CBN. And here's my question. If you draw this CBN like this, not all three of the CBNs are going to intersect at the same point. If you draw it like this, they are not going to intersect at the same point. But when you draw the CBNs through the intersection of the original intersection of the first two CBNs, you have all of the CBNs intersecting at the same point. And you call this concurrent. Concurrent means three or more lines are intersecting at the common point. So CBAS theorem tells you the necessary and sufficient condition for this thing to occur. So let me let me label this a bit, A, B, C. And what you're going to do to show that this all three CBNs are going to be concurrent is like this. Let's go around. You pick a point to start with. I pick vertex A, just for the sake of it. And you're going to pick a direction to go. And I pick this direction. And you're going to go around the triangle. You're going to go around the triangle and you're going to come up with some ratios that you're going to multiply. And you're going to start with, let's, let's label some of it. Then let's call this A, let's call this B, let's call this C, D, E, F. So we have divided the triangle into six segments. And what you're going to do, you're going to divide A by B, and you're going to divide C by D, you're going to divide E by F. And maybe you're seeing what we're doing is simple. You're starting at one vertex. You're just going around dividing these subsequent terms. A divided by B, C divided by D, E divided by F. That's all we are doing. And, all, and at the end, you're going to multiply all of them together. So you're going to multiply all of them together. And if this thing comes up to be one, if this thing comes out to be one, then you know CVNs are concurrent. CVNs are concurrent concurrent. And the opposite, the converse is true as well. If CBNs are concurrent, A over B times C over D times E over F is going to be 1. So this thing works both ways. It's an if and only if theorem or necessary and sufficient condition. So CBAS theorem has immense applications as we are about to find out in the next video. In the next video, using CBAS theorem, we are going to prove that the medians of a triangle are concurrent we're going to prove that angle bisectors of the triangle are concurrent, and we are going to prove that altitudes of the triangle are going to be concurrent in the next video.